Welcome to our 2020 Vancouver College Virtual Open House. My name is Daryl Weaver and I'm the proud principal of Vancouver College. It is a privilege and an honor to speak to you this evening about our school. As in all things Vancouver College though, we will start with a prayer led by grade 8 student Oliver Duffy. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Dear God, Thank you for the gift of faith and the opportunity to learn here at Vancouver College. Continue to inspire our school community to be a place of learning that stirs our hearts and provokes our minds. Guide each of us on our learning journey at Vancouver College. Grant us knowledge and wisdom to learn more about you in order that we better serve you and each other. Finally, Lord, we thank you for the life of blessed Edmund Rice. May we follow his example of faith, service, courage, and compassion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed Edmund Rice, pray, pray for, for us. us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. forever. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Oliver. I feel incredibly proud and blessed to be able to lead this warm, dynamic, and forward-focused faith and learning community. Even in these unusual COVID times, I'm excited every day to witness the fabulous work of our faculty, supported by our talented support staff behind the scenes, and to witness our over 1,060 boys grow into the better people our world now needs more than ever. Our administration is also supported by the vision and long-term guidance of our board. So it gives me great pleasure to now invite Ms. Sue Dvorak, our board chair, to say a few words. Good evening. My name is Sue Dvorak, and it is my privilege to chair the Board of Directors of Vancouver College. On behalf of our entire faith and learning community, I welcome you to Vancouver College. We have so much to show you. As a parent, I am grateful for the broad education my sons received at Vancouver College, and as board chair, I am proud of what we do here and that we keep striving to improve. I am happy to have this opportunity to extend a particular message to you from the Board of Directors. No student is ever turned away from Vancouver College because of financial need. For any parents who worry about the cost of tuition, in the spirit of our founder, blessed Edmund Rice, we have a strong bursary program that is confidential and is completely separate from the admissions process. If, after all you learn about our school, you desire for your son the faith-based, broad, Catholic education offered within the close community of Vancouver College, then apply. If your son is accepted and you require some assistance with tuition, then I absolutely encourage you to apply for our bursary. Thank you for attending our open house online. God bless you and your family. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce the president of Vancouver College, Mr. Johnny Bavacqua. Thank you, Sue. Hello to everyone joining us at home and thank you for your interest in Vancouver College. As I stand here at the main entrance of the school in our newly opened Lannan Hall, we have so much to be grateful for here at Vancouver College in this our 98th year. We particularly look forward with anticipation to our centennial in a few years when we celebrate 100 years of excellence in faith and learning with students, alumni, teachers, friends, and families. Throughout our history as a faith and learning community, we've been committed to the values of our spiritual founder, Blessed Edmund Rice. Values such as instilling in our young men a keen desire to pursue excellence, to live with integrity, to respect and value the dignity of every person, to take pride in everything they do, and to be of service to others. These are a few of our values, our wayfinders, if you will, as a Catholic school, all contained within a document entitled The Essential Elements of an Edmund Rice Christian Brothers Education at Vancouver College. And while proud of our heritage, it is the future of Vancouver College that causes me the most excitement. We have now replaced our oldest buildings. And now, together, 
with Rice Hall, the Haller Science Centre, Manrell Hall, the new Lannan Hall, we complete the transformation of our physical campus. Today we have a safe, comprehensive school with learning neighbourhoods, learning commons, a new elementary gym behind me, breakout rooms and modernised classrooms, each designed and equipped to optimise teaching and learning. Most significantly, we now have our sacred Blessed Edmund Rice Chapel, a place that will unite our community and strengthen our bonds together through reflection, liturgy and prayer. Together, we believe that our new spaces will inspire learning and in the Catholic tradition be a visible sign that where we study is as important as what we study. We continue to raise funds to pay for these beautiful facilities through donations raised in the Our Next Century Capital Campaign and not by increasing tuition fees. Indeed, keeping our tuition fees accessible continues to be a strategic priority while simultaneously offering an exceptional academic and extracurricular program. As we enter, enter VC's next century, we bring renewed focus from the construction of buildings to the building of young men of compassion, integrity, knowledge, and faith. Indeed, men for our times. I congratulate our principal, Mr. Darrell Weaver, and our team of dedicated faculty and staff for the continued commitment to our students. I thank all of you for your interest in Vancouver College. I hope you enjoy your virtual visit. I wish each of your boys the best of luck with their applications. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our principal, Mr. Darrell Weaver. Thank you, Johnny. As we now pivot to look at the many programs we have to offer, there is no more powerful way to get, to ta get a taste of Vancouver College than to actually be here. However, the next best thing is video. So please enjoy this short presentation, filmed and edited by 2013 grad Miguel Batista, with footage from 2020 grad Nico Sagwin, that shows exactly what Vancouver College is all about. Vancouver College is unique in many ways. It is the only all-boys Catholic school in British Columbia. 
Diversity is our strength in many ways, socioeconomically and ethnically included. We also have three schools in one. Our elementary school from kindergarten to grade six is run by Ms. Barb Sapelt. Our middle school from grade seven to eight and nine is run by Mr. John Paul Cavaluzzo. And our senior school, grade 10 and 11 and 12, is headed by Mr. Frank Trentadue. All three of them will have sessions later this evening that you can visit. One of our core elements is our deep commitment to the formation of the whole person, mind, body, and soul, in a climate of caring and support for all of our boys. All that we do and how we do it flows from our Catholic faith and the traditions of Edmund Rice and the Christian brothers. This is the heartbeat of our school and animates all that we do. It speaks to our climate and our culture as a Catholic school. Faith life at the school is based on our four pillars. Our religious education program as run through the various classes at all grade levels. Our retreat program from grade seven all the way through to grade 12. Our service and outreach program which involves students working in the community locally and internationally with our brother communities and our liturgical and sacramental program, including masses and sacraments here at the school. Together, these form a cohesive program that nurtures and creates young men with a social conscience who are able to stand in solidarity with those on the margins of our society and to use their talents to the fullest to make our world a better place. We are also extremely proud of the fact that young men who graduate from VC are equipped for success in today's modern world. One measure of this success is the outstanding academic foundation our boys receive here. Our boys are supported by a dedicated faculty and staff who understand what it takes to educate boys. We know this because of some impressive educational achievement data. Tonight I'm going to highlight three numbers, 100, 96, and over 400. 100 represents our graduation rate. 100% of the boys that enter our school do graduate through grade 12. Impressively, 96% of them last year graduated with honors, and the provincial average is in the 60% range. And finally, in our 2019-2020 graduating class of 152 students, we had over 400 university post-secondary offers. We all know that our student success allows them to access top universities and colleges locally, across Canada, the US, and around the world. For example, UBC is a common favorite, as is the University of Toronto and McGill in Canada. Princeton University and the universities of Hong Kong and Macau from last year's grad group are other examples. Of course, learning at VC extends well beyond the classroom as well. In the spirit of honoring the whole person, mind, body, and soul, you will hear us often say that we have something for everyone. We know that a health, healthy body feeds a healthy mind. All of our boys, therefore, are required to participate in some form of physical education through to grade 12. Our athletic programs and our athletes certainly pursue excellence in everything that they do. Our programs and athletes are recognized provincially, nationally, and across North America. Countless student athletes from VC move on to the collegiate level and beyond. And our students are supported by expert coaches and teachers, as well as our first class athletic facilities. Students have many options here, from football, basketball, rowing, soccer, swimming, wrestling, track and field, cross country, lacrosse, snowboarding and skiing, ultimate frisbee, badminton, tennis, and golf. And while our students and our programs are successful, winning championships and scholarships, they still are, after all, the defending national rowing and varsity football champions, that is not the end game. What our boys learn from athletics is the importance of personal dedication and a strong work ethic. How a team comes together and works for a common goal, ultimately achieving so much more together than as individuals working alone. We are also proud of our expansive arts program. Our impressive and accomplished music program, including band and choir. This year we, hope we have over nine ensembles, achieving many awards and accolades, and typically participating in national and international tours. 
We also have an outstanding performing and dramatic arts program that alternates between spectacular plays and full-scale musicals every other year. And we have inspiring visual arts, including sculpting, painting, and photography. I am proud to say that through the arts, we cultivate innovation, creativity, and divergent thinking, essential skills to face the challenges of our world tomorrow. Continuing on this theme of something for everyone, we have a multitude of clubs and activities. Just a sampling, we have service and outreach clubs, leadership and student council clubs, environmental clubs throughout the school, faith-based clubs, technology clubs, including robotics, podcasting, and multimedia, arts clubs of every type, music clubs to go along with our bands and ensembles, and academic clubs, including Model United Nations, Reach for the Top, and Debate. Our support clubs include peer mentoring and tutoring. At VC, we value you, the parents, as the first educators of your sons. As a parent myself, I know that the most important job is being a parent to my two children, now at Little Flower Academy and in UBC studying engineering. Being a parent brings the greatest joys and also some of life's biggest challenges. The strength of Vancouver College is that parents are always part of our community. We work together to support the boys and to support each other. So what makes VC so successful? It's an incredibly supportive and trusting relationship between the parents, the teachers, and the entire school community. So, on to the application process. Our deadline this year is Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. Please visit our website to complete the online registration process or call our registrar, Mr. Michael Potasek, for more information. Michael will also host sessions later on this evening. A few special dates to remember. Monday and Tuesday, January 18th and 19th, and the following Thursday and Friday, January 28th and 29th, kindergarten applicants and families will be interviewed. On Friday, January 22nd, grade seven and eight interviews will take place between 12.30 and 4 p.m. This will be for qualified candidates only. There will eventually be a placement exam for successful candidates later in the spring. For candidates for grade four, there will be a written assessment which will be done in groups of four students at a time, January 20th through 22nd, and again, January 26th and 27th. All of this will culminate in the last week of February when applicants will be notified regarding the status of their applications. However, between April and September, qualified applicants will continue to be contacted as openings occur. So it's very, very important to apply and do not eliminate yourself. Things are fluid and they may change. Do note our priority considerations. Though as a school we welcome all applicants, we do prioritize certain students. Those are our siblings of current students, alumni sons, and those who are Catholic. Again, too, note that in all cases, the administration reserves the right to exercise its admissions decisions in the best interests of VC as a Catholic school, its current students, and in the tradition of Blessed Edmund Rice. Here at VC, we say the boys and young men truly leave here as better man. So now I invite student Matt Keller from the class of 2021 to say a few words about his VC experience and how it has shaped him into the better man that he is already today. My decision to enroll at VC when I was in grade seven wasn't too difficult a choice to make. While he did weigh my options, looking at both public and independent schools, Vancouver College seemed like the most logical and the best next step in my education. I came from a Catholic elementary school and I was surrounded by friends applying to VC and some that had already made the move. But even at that time, I didn't fully understand the scope of opportunities and the brotherhood that VC had to offer. My first experience of this was in grade eight wrestling, one of the many sports offered at VC. Thrown into a cluttered room filled with a few dozen other perspiring teenagers, Coach Roselli took us through a grueling tryout practice. 
As a 13-year-old who could barely get through elementary track practices, these workouts destroyed me. But the support from my teammates and coaches gave me the motivation and the desire to keep going. Since then, I have been chosen as a team captain, and because of this role and the lessons that I've learned on the mat, I've grown as a person. This support has allowed me to develop confidence and discipline, and the team has given me the support to strive for excellence. As a Catholic school, VC offers in-school retreats in middle school and off-campus retreats in senior school. Retreats are a time for reflection and provide the opportunity to share and understand our faith and spirituality. VC alumni consider the grade 12 encounter retreat the experience that best defines VC's culture and brotherhood. After attending encounter this October, I fully agree with that statement. My connection with my peers is even stronger. Especially during these challenging times, Encounter is crucial to lifting each other up during our last year together. Service is also a large part of the VC experience. I can't lie, filling my mandatory service hours during middle school seemed like a chore. Having little cousins around came in handy when I needed to fill up my last couple of hours as a babysitter. But I have since come to appreciate VC's encouragement for community involvement, providing opportunities to stand in solidarity with those marginalized by poverty and injustice one of our essential elements. Service has allowed me to make connections with people in my community and it ex has exposed me to ideas that positively impact my perspective. I have spent many weekends distributing meals with Bump and Bakery and connecting with residents of the downtown east side at the Doors Open Soup Kitchen. Last year, I enrolled in the social justice class to learn more about how mental illness and addiction have affected the homeless population. This past March, I was part of the Faith in Action Peru team, where we built a house for a family in Canto Grande, one of the poorest areas in Lima. I'm currently participating in the online Brownsville immersion, and I'm actively volunteering within Vancouver College. Through these opportunities, I've learned that my faith is centered around a commitment to my community. Entering your first year at VC may feel overwhelming, but know that you will always have the support of your teachers and peers. VC faculty are engaged in extracurricular activities within the school. Through sport and club involvement, I've engaged with many teachers, even if they haven't taught me in classroom, offering yet another perspective in life. Teachers hold tutorials outside of class time, and the Learning Center, VC's resource department, has dedicated staff and peer mentors available for students who require extra support. If I can give one piece of advice to new students, it is to get involved. Branch out from what you've done in the past and meet new people and engage in new experiences. Sign up for sports, clubs, retreats, and service opportunities. Yes, academics are important, but they are just one aspect of school life. My five years at Vancouver College has allowed me to develop confidence, empathy, connections, and leadership skills that, will continue to that I will continue to benefit from long after I graduate. Take full advantage of what VC has to offer so you may live, leave here a better man. Thank you so much, Matt. We are so proud of you and our many boys here at Vancouver College who truly are better men. We'll now move on to the more interactive part of the evening. You will see links on our admissions webpage to tours of each of our th three school buildings. Lannan Hall, our elementary. Manrell Hall, which houses our middle school and some senior school classes. And Blessed Edmund Rice Hall, including the Haller Science Wing, where most of our senior school classes occur. There are also several question and answer drop-in sessions available between now and 8 p.m. The idea is for you to prioritize and pick any three and drop in for up to 25 minutes to meet a school leader in that particular area. Or you are welcome to pop in and out of several, time permitting of course. Regardless, enjoy the rest of your evening, and we look forward to working with you in the years ahead. Semper Fidelis.